Some people have a million dollars or more saved for retirement, but most people have less. So how do you save a million dollars for retirement? I'm retirement columnist Rodney Brooks. I'm here with Jeannie Thompson, Vice President of Fidelity Investments. The company has studied people who have tucked away a million or more dollars in their nest egg. What are the characteristics of people who have a million dollars or more saved for retirement? Yeah, so Rodney, we looked at people that made under $150,000 but yet had saved a million in their 401k. And what we found is that they saved over the long haul. Many of them started when they were in their 20s and saved for 30 years or more. They contributed up to the company match and they invested heavily in stocks or stock mutual funds. What else should you do to save a million dollars in a 401k? So one of the keys to save a million dollars in your 401k is really to save first up to the company match. We found that many of these 401k millionaires took full advantage of either the company match and or profit sharing. They saved on average 16% of their pay and then on top of that received another 5% from their companies. How, how did the millionaires invest their, invest their money? So on average they held about 75% of their assets in either stock mutual funds or a company stock. So they had a long-term focus on growth. Okay, so it's really important to save up to the company match on a 401k? Yes, it's critical to save up to the company match. And if you're not quite there, what we recommend is that save at least 1% more every year until you reach the company match. By not saving up to that company match, you could be leaving free money on the table. Not everybody needs a million dollars in retirement savings, so realistically, how much did you save for retirement? Yeah, that's a great point, Rodney. Not everyone does need a million. Some people may need much more and some need less. As a general rule of thumb, we recommend that people save at least eight times their salary. But in many cases, people might need 10 times their salary or even 12 times. The earlier you retire, the more you're going to need because your retirement horizon is much longer. If you work until you're 67 or even 70, you might need a little bit less. It really depends on when you want to retire and how much you're making today. What if you're tempted to tap into your 401k to borrow money, to buy a house or invest in a business? What's your advice on that? Well, as tempting as it may be, we actually recommend keeping it invested because you can't take a loan on your retirement, but you can take a loan to buy a house, you can take a loan to pay for college, and even to start a small business. And so having that money invested for the long haul is critical for long-term retirement success. Jeannie, thanks so much for your time. For more stories about retirement, go to retirement.usatoday.com. Thank you, Rodney.